Welcome back to all viewers. Uh, I'm the reporter Vittorio Feltre and today I'm here in Trento for a special episode about uh, viruses, in particular the so-called virus HIV. I'm in front of Santa Clara Hospital um, and, uh, and I'm so lucky because uh, today I have the opportunity to speak with some uh, uh, doctors of, uh, of this uh, polyclinic and also with some witnesses. Let's start immediately with uh, uh, the first question that we put to the virologist about them. Doctor, will you tell you about, uh, about this virus that's been uh, widespread uh, over the last centuries? Good morning everyone, let's start seeing what is a virus. It is a genetic fragment covered by a layer of proteins and it needs a host organism to survive because uh, it isn't self-sufficient, so it enters our healthy cells, assuming their function. But talking about HIV, human immunodeficiency virus, it attacks and destroys the lymphocyte CD4, a particular white blood cell responsible for our immune defense. This disease is called AIDS, Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. What about the infection? What can you tell us? Well, the presence of antibodies against HIV in blood is called seropositivity. The infection of this virus doesn't show at all symptoms, but it shows itself through the effects that causes on our immune system. Though infected, you can live for years without symptoms and uh, release your positivity when you contract a disease. So the only way to know you are positive is doing the test for HIV. The infection occurs when the virus contained in one of the liquids of a positive person enters a body from another person through a wound. The possibility of transmission depends on the lifestyle habits and on the quantity of virus present in blood and in the genetical secretion of the positive person. Okay, doctor, thank you for the interesting answers. Now we will listen to the link with uh, Dr. Sposky, who specializes in gynecology, speaking uh, to us from Bologna. I would like you to remove our doubts uh, about the methods of uh, transmission of this pathogen. Uh, what are transmission routes and uh, how do they work? Hello everybody, with great pleasure I will explain the ways of transmission uh, of HIV. It can only be transmitted through the following of biological fluids of people with HIV, uh, who may be unaware or are not on F an efficate uh, antitretroviral therapy. Blood and its derivates, sperm and uh, vaginal secretion and breath milk. The ways of transmission that are sexual through hetero or homosexual um, intercourse, not uh, protected by an effective method of blood prevention, exchange of syringe or sharing of tolls, uh, for the use of psychoactive substance, uh, vertical contaminated blood, um, transfusion um, from mother or to newborn during pregnancy. Sexual transmission, only sexual intercourse in a witch, uh, um, a barrier instrument, uh, condom femidon, or other preventive instrument are used if you want to assess uh, escape risk. It goes uh, as in the following uh, of um, risk are considered risk, uh, anal pre penetration, vaginal penetration, and oral sex uh, for those who simulate uh, the partner's genitals with the mouth. If uh, seminal fluids of vaginal secretion come into contact, uh, um, contact with a cat, laceration in the mouth, uh, mouth uh, or eyes, remember that interrupted coitus doesn't protect against HIV. Neither does the use of uh, contractive pill, uh, diaphragm and coils. Uh, vaginal uh, dosing after sexual intercourse uh, doesn't uh, eliminate the possibility of contagious. HIV uh, can also be transmitted through blood. The safety um, and quality legislation uh, covers all the expect the donor to recipient path, such as donor selection yet. Transmission through blood is still possible in, in the population addicted to use substance to the exchange syringe or sharing toes um, to the psychoactive substance. When we talk about um, vertical transmission, we mean uh, from mother to child. 
transmission from mother with HIV infection to her fetus, fetus or newborn can occur during pregnancy. And uh, today it's possible to reduce the risk of vertical transmission if, we, if uh, antitratoviral um, therapy is administered to the mother uh, during pregnancy and to the newborn uh, in um, the first uh, six uh, um, weeks of uh, life. Thank you, Dr. Zboski. Now uh, I and the whole Italian population will be more careful. Uh, we now welcome the Dr. Gallo, who will uh, show us instead how uh, this virus is not, tra is not transmitted and uh, also breaking down some um, stereotypes and sayings. Good morning. HIV is not uh, transmitted through saliva, tears, sweat, urine and uh, mosquito baits. It is not uh, transmitted by sharing the same dishes, bathrooms, jeans, swimming pools and other places of uh, coexistence. It is not uh, transmitted with crashes or kisses. Very well, thank you and see you soon. We will now move on uh, to Dr. Fontana who will explain us uh, how we can fight this uh, virus. Good evening, doctor. Uh, can you tell us uh, how we can fight HIV? Good evening, Silfeldri. I'm very happy to explain how we can fight this virus. The discovery of a vaccine against HIV is the target of a big scientific research which aims to protect the people who have not contracted HIV and have a therapeutic effect. There is currently no effective HIV vaccine, but many research projects are carrying out clinical trials to make one. Working with monoclonal antibodies, it has actually been shown that the human body can defend itself against HIV. The drugs available today are able to block the replication of the virus, making the life expectancy of an HIV-positive person very close to that of a healthy person. Much has already been done in terms of simplifying therapy, maintaining its effectiveness. If in the past patients had to take different drugs several times a day with the risk of forgetting so causing poor adherence to therapy, now their number has been reduced to a single daily pill, in most cases but there's still room for improvement. Okay, now it's clearer. Uh, I also wanted to ask you what about the contagious uh, data of uh, this virus are? Of course, then in 2019, 2,531 new diagnoses of HIV infection were made, equal to 4.2 new cases per 100,000 residents. Italy, in terms of incidence new HIV diagnoses, is slightly below the average of the European Union countries. In 2019, 45 European countries reported 12,535 cases of ADS, 76% in Eastern countries, 18% in Western countries and 6% in Central countries, with an incidence respectively of 8.3, 0.5 and 0.4 per 100,000 inhabitants. According to the UNIDS 2009 report, around the world there have been around 60 million people infected since the beginning of the epidemic, with around 25 million deaths and in South Africa 14 million orphaned children. Thank you very much, Dr. Fontana, for your intervention. Now we finally give the word again to Mrs. Rosalinda, who will tell us about uh, her experience with uh, this virus, the, the HIV virus. Hello, I have uh, to admit that I feel a uh, bit embarrassed to talk about this, but uh, I am happy to do it. I had unprotected sex a few weeks ago, but uh, I was sure that the boy was healthy. Before I started uh, shedding the virus remain an uh, abstract thing. I feel physical fit, but uh, I was a bit depressed. However, a few weeks ago, I started uh, having panic attacks. I would lose uh, consciousness and uh, I had uh, longer crane crazes. I started uh, the tree therapy, three tests to take uh, every 24 hours and uh, everything suddenly uh, became real. I am going to a uh, Shrider every day for the rest of my life. 
one of the things I have been uh, explained in the that there is not a single HIV. In uh, some months, uh, the doctor who assists me will uh, like uh, the change uh, therapy because uh, with the passage of time therapy could uh, damage the um, kidneys. Occurred to the latest medical test, my organs are in good condition, but uh, the medicine are uh, very aggressive. As I'm young, the doctors would uh, prefer to change a molecule and uh, as uh, proposed uh, to new one. In this time, since uh, my virus are already muted, it's one of the first things uh, they explained to me there is not a single virus in fact going into too much detail the virus can develop resist to antiretroviral and uh, muted and there you have it we are done for today too thanks to all of you viewers and uh, bye bye